Hey, what up team? It's Joe Mill here back with Killer Miller Q and today we got a special edition of another good video coming your way. We're going to be over there on the Lone Star, but I'm going to be reviewing one of my man's products. We're going to be pulling out some of that TNT mop sauce. I got to start off with a special piece of meat. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to one of my local butchers to hit one of the farms out here locally in Gilbert and uh, we're going to get us a nice piece of pork. Hold tight. But today's video, which you already know is a special video, as we messing around with that TNT mop sauce, I had to go and solicit the help from one of my local butchers. Man, it smells great over here. They got some good wood burning. That's actually who I get my wood from, AZ Wood Farmers. But uh, we're going to go up in here and check out this old uh, pork stove, the pork shop, and we're going to find us a good pork shoulder. Alright, we're in the pork shop. My man, the mustache guy. And Jay is over here giving me a, a fine tour of this place. Check out these big ears. Oh, that's cool. I know it's loud, but you gotta enjoy the smoke. Ooh. The size of this pit. Man, look at the size of this pit. And this is what we came away with, our little care package. I wanted to do a pork shoulder, didn't have a whole pork shoulder in, but uh, I tell you what, my man Jay over there was so gracious, took me around, showed me everything. I showed you a quick little bit of footage of kind of some of the back end of the place, but uh, I was super upset just because of the fact my home phone started acting funny, so I wasn't able to get a lot of the footage. He literally took me in there, showed me every one of his freezers, where the smoking is and everything happens at, his prep area, everything, man. It was great. Probably literally the cleanest um, butcher I think I've ever been in before. I mean, not a smell in there, and I tell you, he had everything in there looking great so needless to say i came out of here with a beautiful pork butt a little over seven pounds let me open this baby up so you can see what we working with all right open that baby up check it out man got that money muscle over there nice and beautifully striated beautiful meat man i tell you i love whenever i can support local local farmers and uh, obviously be able to get something that's that fresh got that bone in this thing has already been cleaned up beautifully. I mean, that's the meat side. I wasn't sure which one's which. This is my fat side. That's already real clean. So, I'm not using a binder today. My man T over there at TNT Barbecue don't use a binder. So, I'm trying to do pretty much exactly how he has uh, when he puts his together. His has always got a beautiful color. Everything always looks right. If you have not checked out TNT Barbecue, I'm going to put his... Uh, link up in the uh, description up here so you can check that out they are always doing big things and you will never see him only make one but literally he would have probably had about 50 of these on today but they always come out looking beautiful and i want to try this mop sauce and i want to try this color so as far as seasoning he keep it pretty simple i literally just talked to him we made our own spg okay i just got me a little bit of a let's see if i get a little bit better light yeah there you go all right, I just made my own SPG. This is an old shaker I had that I just kind of keep once I kind of let it all go. And pretty much what we do is a 60 amount, uh, a 60, 40, 10 mix uh, to make up that SPG. So about 60% of that is going to be black pepper. 40% of that is going to be kosher white salt. And then about 10% of that is going to be garlic powder. All right, so I'm about to mix that up. We're about to get this thing seasoned all over. I'm going to be cooking fat side up because that's the way my man does it. And uh, we're going to let this hang out for a little bit while that Lone Star comes up to temp. We're only going to be going at about 250. All right, check it out. I tell you what, I don't do making my own SPG enough, man. It's, I feel like it's just something about being able to get your own mix, getting that coarse grain, black pepper in there as well as uh also just that garlic man it smells amazing uh usually we don't go too too heavy or uh, from what i've seen from him on the crust i'm not too worried since we don't got that much salt in here and obviously we got a big piece of meat most of this is going to be pepper so we should be able to get us a good crust 
Other than that, I'm going to let it hang out. Like I said, no binder. Our own homemade SPG is going on there. We're going to be cooking low and slow over there on the old Lone Stars coming up to temp. And pretty much what we're going to be cooking at is about 250. We got our pecan wood going strong in there. Barely a little bit of smoke. Let's go over there check it out. Barely a little bit of smoke you might see coming out the stack. We almost about ready to rock. I'm going to tone this thing down a little bit. I'm a little high. And then uh, we'll be ready to go. As you see, I tell you one thing, T, you not already turned me on, and I, I feel like I will not be buying nobody else's AP no more. Because I tell you what, normally when I get a salt, pepper, and garlic, I never smell this much garlic like I do right now. Uh, this smells amazing, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one right here. So needless to say, I got this pit pretty much dialed in. I put my bone side towards the back, which is normally my warmer side of my pit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let this thing hang out with this money muscle up front. It's nice and pretty. I'll bring y'all back in after about an hour and a half, and we're going to bring out the star of the show. Hey team, I want to jump in here real quick and let you know thanks for following along on today's cook. And if you are new to the channel, go to that bottom right corner. Make sure that you subscribe, like this video, check out some of the other ones that you've already missed. And for everybody else, if you haven't already, make sure that you find me on IG, Facebook, and even TikTok. <laughs> let's get back to the work. All right, let's take a quick second, man, and look at the start of the show. TNT's Mob Sauce. It's Southern style, man. This is my guy. If you don't know him and you know me, something is wrong. Like I said, they is doing it big right out there in Iowa, close by a lot of my family. So uh, no surprise I ended up liking his stuff and, and always watched him. Like I told you before, if you ever see anything that they cooking, they are always cooking weight. I'm talking 50 pork butts, 100 and something slabs, something like that. He's always putting together some good work. I finally got a chance to try this mop sauce. I'm excited. Um, we are a little over an hour, so we're about to be going back soon to check this meat. So I know he likes to warm this mop sauce up a little bit. It's got lard in here, a lot of great ingredients. I can't wait to taste it. I haven't even opened a bottle yet. But uh, let's see what it says. Apple cider vinegar, or apple juice, water, spices, bell pepper. And you can see some of that in there. And I remember as I was watching some of the videos, he talked about there was some lard and stuff in here. Um, but this should be good. I went ahead and went with the giant size bottle. I'll make sure I throw his website up there where you can find this mop sauce. I haven't got a chance to open up his rubs either. He's got Grandpa's uh, pecan rub over here along with this uh, TNT's all-purpose rub. I'll be interested to try those out. We'll see those later. And it also came with a nice handy-dandy mop. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to shake this up really good, get some of this out and pour it into a little stock pot. And that's what I'll be using as we're going to go ahead and just start basting this uh, pork butt. Let's get to it. I got this mop sauce nice and warmed up. Believe it or not, we still in the mid-80s out here. So, you know, throw a little aluminum foil on it, let it sit out. It's good to go. We about to finally get our first mop in. We've been holding strong. Um, I did end up coming back in here and uh, mm, 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 deciding to um, get rid of my top rack and get this down here on the bottom. That top rack is always a little bit hotter. I'm really gonna try to take this thing nice and slow. It's looking good. I can see this bark formulating a little bit. So uh, we about to get a nice little bit of mop on here for the first time. So now that I got this mop sauce open, you know, I've tasted it a little bit. You can definitely taste that vinegar, but you, it's calmed down though. It's not super zingy. Um, and it's calmed down by a, a lot of other flavors. And, you know, you look on there, they say that it's dill peppers and stuff like that, but um, it's definitely got its own twang. And I'm interested to see how this thing come out. So uh, we're not going to try to get it too hard, we're just going to get it wet and give it a little bit more of that flavor all the way around. Try not to knock off any of our red. Well, it's great if it's getting wet. If it's hitting on those uh, tuning rods, steaming up and smelling. That's coming together. I see exactly what old brother T was telling me. All right, that looks good. I'll bring you back in an hour. We hit it again. You see we dialed in. Rolling a 250 with this uh, pecan. Nice. I just threw a log in. So I got a little extra smoke rolling. 
We looking good. Almost look like it don't look no different since I touched it last. That's probably that good old mop sauce holding it down. All right, we're gonna pull a little bit of this out. We, uh, what, we just said about three hours? A little over, so three hours, five minutes. We're just gonna dab it. We're not gonna rub it. Just dab it a little bit with mouth salt. This show do smell good. Cut the tea. Show sure do smell good. I know it's gonna have a vinegary finish. You can see a little bit of those uh, pepper flakes and everything that was in there. We're gonna let it roll. We're gonna give it a little wetness. Yeah, mop sauce, baby. Four hours in, actually about 4.09 to be exact. We done creeped up just a little bit. Mm. Man, it smell good up in here. Check out this thing. My bark is nice and crispy looking. I brought my the, uh, Thermo Pen out so I can, or Thermo Pro, my Thermo Pro out, so I can give me a little bit of a reading. And you know what we came out here to do. We're gonna hit it with a little more of this mop sauce. It's smelling beautiful out here. Pardon me if I don't get the perfect view for this, but I'm trying to two-hand this thing. I'm going to obviously give you a nice peek once it's all set. But I love the way my bark is setting with this mop sauce tea. Talking to you. You got a nice little product over here. This thing smells good. i tell you what, nothing else. That SPG made me a believer. Hell. All right. Looking good. I'm gonna have to pull me a little bit more in there. Look at them flakes. Look at them flakes and all that goodness in there. You see that? That mop sauce. So I'm gonna go pretty much in the middle. Try not to make sure I don't hit the bone. Uh, let's see if we can get it. 162. Alright, not too bad. I'm about to rotate this thing 180. And then we're gonna let this go about another half hour out. I mean, another hour. Give it another sauce in the two, and then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so we a little inside of five hours. This baby's looking great. I'm just tossing in some wood. It's probably about time for us to wrap. I'm not mad at the bark I got. I like bark, so I went a little, start to get in a little dark. You know, we get a little bit of crust on there before we wrap it all up. So I'm not too afraid of where we at. That's that bone right there. Kind of see what we look like in more in the middle center. 166, I'm good with that. I'm sure on these edges, yeah, that's pretty tender feeling. More towards 175, 67, 67. Looking good, that's why we rotate the thing. Pretty respectfully even. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it a one more mopping. I only got a little bit left in here, but I'll let you see what I've already set up. So you know this is gonna be a nice vinegar tasting pork that we got today. Beautiful smell coming off of this thing with this SPG and this mop sauce. All right, so we got it nice and wet. You see that fat, uh, fat cap split too? That usually lets you know too that you uh, you well on your way. All right, so we All got right. us a nice big size pan here. I got my rack so we can sit up a little bit as more of this juice is gonna come out and I can halfway preserve some of my bark. And then um, I threw a little bit of mop sauce here in the bottom so we got us a little moisture. You can see them red pepper flakes and all that good flavoring and pepper and all that good stuff in there. I am excited to try this right here. All right, let's move this thing over. Uh, right on the rack. Uh-oh, and we got a sacrificial lamb. We get a chance to find out what we working with already. Get that, look at that. Look at that caramelization. You see that red? Oh, yeah. It's all me. Wow. Beautiful flavor. All right, now I'm ready. Let me get this in here, double foil this thing, wrap it up, and um, I'm gonna throw a probe in it. 
We're gonna take it up to about 205. Hey, I had to bring you in here. Before I wrap this, check this color out. Check my bark out. This is the fatter side up. I tasted that little piece off of there. I am more than impressed. That's a flavor that I ain't never had before. But I tell you what, we all right. Hopefully we don't lose all of that, even though we wrapping up with foil. I'm not too worried. This is gonna pull great. But I had to show you this, as I'm impressed. Salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of that good old fashioned mop sauce. We got this thing done, man. Here we are at about six hours and 40 minutes, player. Let's go. We ranging at about 205. Man, it smells amazing. No smoke coming out that stack, just like I like it. Even though we covered up, man, I like trying to keep as smooth of a smoke as I can on this here. We're going to crack this open because I do want to stop this cook because this pork is more than enough. I'm going to be pulling this. And, uh, you know, I got my guy in town, so the majority of this is going to happen tomorrow. So I'm not too worried about it being, wow. Wow. Come on, let me get in here close for y'all. Man, is this what that mop sauce do? I am a believer. Man, it's the fat side up right now. And I know it wasn't that much fat on there. You see why? That's why I put it on that rack when I do put it on here and uh, wrap it up with this foil. I can still keep a little bit of my bark and stay out of that water so it don't turn instantly juicy. But with that said, all of that's going to get soaked up and we actually pull this baby. All right, we done stopped the, the smoke real quick or more or less stopped the cook a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and lightly tint this. You see that juice running up out of here. This is going to be flavorful. And uh, later on, we'll get us a quick taste. All right, you see what we got here. I done let this uh, pork butt rest for a second. My bark is looking great. I tell you what, this thing, once again, like a lot of these things, look at this, bark ain't going nowhere. Beautiful bark, great smell and flavor. I done tasted that little piece off. So we got our bone there. Let's see how clean we can get this out of there. Oh yeah, you know it's cooked right. I like it too, because see, I like to try to make sure whenever I get to that pool, and this is still pretty high, you see that steam, I don't want it to be to the point where it's all mush. At least it can all stay together, and it's still pretty hot, so I got to be careful with this bone, this thing tearing me up. Uh, look at that, you see that smoke? All that redness. Smells is amazing. Woo! Man, I just fell out of there. Nice and clean. Alright, we're gonna play around with this a little bit as I'm getting ready to break it up. This thing is juicy. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Stop playing. Just fall apart. Now you know stuff like that, you get rid of that little connective tissue. But man, I tell you what. Look at that product. This is man, I'm telling you. Look at this. And there's so much moisture. This is not injected. That's just pure smoke and beautifulness. None but AP. And here go all, that's the little bit of uh, mop sauce that I poured in there. And whatever came out, I ain't even poured that in there yet. Beautiful. All right, team. Before we get into this whole thing and get a chance to taste on this pork, I want to take a quick second and give a quick shout out and give you some review of this whole mop sauce and this cook in general. First thing that I'm going to say, if you can't tell by how much it's gone, we like that mop sauce around here. It came out fabulous. I tell you what, I was surprised that something with uh, so much vinegar in it uh, had no vinegar taste necessarily on the actual meat once I got done cooking it. Uh, it left everything super juicy. My color came out great. It was super flavorful, 
but uh, it wasn't a vinegary taste. It's hard for me to explain the actual flavor that it ended up giving my meat, but all I can tell you is it tasted like I was at a good old fashioned cookout, uh, which made me happy because that's close by my heart by where uh, out there and I where uh, T is at. So uh, I got a lot of family out that way. So it just seemed like it made everything go. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that I add in his website so you can find out where you can get you some of this mop sauce. I would recommend definitely going with this half gallon. Initially, I was only gonna grab a couple of the bottles but uh, it was a better deal on the shipping to go with the half gallon not only did I get a couple rubs out the deal but um, this stuff goes fast and this stuff is amazing as soon as you smell this hit the tuning plates or if you're cooking directly over a fire and that kiss down on some of those coals and you smell that smell that comes up out of there you're gonna totally understand what you're gonna be doing to this meat this is a process I tell you this mop sauce does something special to that meat when you think about all I put on there was SPG with the flavor that I got off of that pork, ain't nothing to be said on that one. We literally end up going, it's the day after, so I literally took it the day after and uh, made some beef ribs, a couple sets of beef ribs for my boy. It was his birthday, he was out here visiting for football, and uh, I decided to use that SPG on that as well. Came over the top of that with that mop sauce. That came out phenomenal. I cooked that on the rack the whole time. Had a great color, had a great flavor. Once again, didn't taste like vinegar. That mop sauce is the truth. Definitely would recommend it. The other big thing that I tell you I pull from this cook and just kind of trying to do this more or less like uh, T does his when he makes his uh, barbecue, making my own SPG, while it's something that was so simple, um, literally I went with a 60-40-10 ratio, 60 on the pepper, 40 on the uh, salt, and then 10% more or less on the garlic powder. Man, I tell you, it made all the difference in the world. Literally, it looked different. The texture was different. Wasn't those thin little crystals that you normally get when you buy an SPG already pre-made that just kind of dissolves right into the meat. Um, instead, I had a nice bark that I had consistency that I ended up getting off of that big uh, 16 grain uh, mesh uh, pepper being on there and the kosher salt and all of that. And then even just the garlic, I could smell that garlic on my meat while it was sitting there and sitting up and everything on the ribs and definitely on the pork butt um, more than I ever necessarily noticed before so it was one of those things where not only could I be saving the money but um, I noticed a huge difference in taste and presentation and just the overall you know pull and texture and all of that type of stuff I will always make my own SPG from now on too simple not to so making my own SPG love some of this mop sauce definitely get you the half gallon you see what's already missing with that said let me show you what this pork look like and without no further ado check out my poke like i told you it is already the day after the day after okay so uh, I didn't want to pull out all my pork, so I just grabbed me a nice mean handful mound, threw it in the air fryer. Let me tell you, man, this stuff is still super juicy, smelling super flavorful. You can see all of that good smoke in there. Uh, like I said, I already had to taste some, man. <laughs> Cold. As soon as you get a hands out here, you can just smell it, man. I had to get me a little bit. There go that old shoulder blade bone in there nice and clean like we want it. And get rid of that thing. Maybe I let my dog play with it for a second. And for our taste and privileges, I grab me just an old Hawaiian roll, man. We're gonna keep this real basic. Let me just get some of this here. Load this up like this here. Nothing fabulous. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Give me that beautiful barky piece like that hanging all off of there. I like that. Mm. Man, that flavor, I'm telling you. I wish I could describe better, man. Y'all gotta forgive me. I don't got all of them fancy palettes or nothing like that, so I don't know a whole lot of descriptive words in this particular category to tell you how good this pork tastes. But I tell you what, we show sure got some good flavor on it along with that bark. Mm. So this is what we gonna do. Uh, I'm about to flip this thing around. Um, we won't bore you too much with just some old pulled pork. Get out of there, fly. Um, as far as what I am going to throw a little something on here. This stuff is super moist and tender, as you can still see. But uh, I'll give a shout out to my guy Jay over there with the uh, pork shop that uh, put me together with my um, beautiful pork butt that we cooked for today over there at Queen Creek. Uh, we'll be using his barbecue sauce here, the Mr. Fantasticals chipotle barbecue sauce i think that'll be perfect for a little something to top off this uh sandwich i'm gonna get a little of this barbecue sauce on there and we're gonna flip this camera around we'll get us another taste and we out
All right, team, we got that thing flipped around. I had to get that meat up out of here because these flies are smelling this mop sauce, and I could not have that. So with that said, let's get into this taste. Still got a lot of these flies roaming around here, T, for this mop sauce. But uh, shouts out to all my guys over there at Black Smoke Barbecue. Big shout out to TNT Barbecue for this mop sauce and putting me on on the recipe on how to put this together for y'all today. Big shout outs to the pork shop over there in Queen Creek, Arizona and Schnepp Farms for giving me some of that beautiful uh, natural pulled pork, or should I say pork butt, so we can get to that natural pulled pork. And um, let's taste this thing, shall we? And uh, tell you what, I already tasted this Chipotle barbecue sauce right out the bottle. This is gonna be perfect on this pork. Got a little bit of kick and an amazing flavor. I'm gonna have to get that on some chicken wings ASAP. All right, let's do it. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. You know, it's fun tasting this when you've not already tasted it. I've not already had me some fun with this. This mop sauce over this pork absolute fire best flavor combo on the pork that I came up with so far especially without having to inject it at all and coming out this flavorful with just salt pepper and garlic it ain't even close I made me a sandwich with this with no barbecue sauce in the day I thought that maybe I should try out that new rub and get my guy Shay I mean Jay or should I call him the mustache guy over there at the pork shop get him a shout out which I'm glad I did because that barbecue sauce is good but this pork is on fire with that with that uh mop sauce by itself you would be ready to go let me tell you i'm gonna definitely have to try it on some pork ribs with that said i'm gonna catch y'all next week killer miller q until the next one peace <music>